picking against you guys. Everybody kind of pays attention to it, but you take it with a grain of salt. Can that be used as fuel for you guys? Uh, you know, I hope so. Uh, but I think a lot of it speaks to how good Rhode Island is mm -hmm. rather than a slam on us. Uh, you know, they were a team that fought some injuries to some of their key players during the course of the year. And then in the last five or six games of the conference season, got everybody back and healthy. And, and uh, they've won eight straight since then. So, you know, they're a very talented basketball team. And, uh, but, you know, we're happy to be in the tournament. And, uh, you know, any, anytime, you, anytime you make the NCAA tournament, it's, it's an exciting time. Um, when you're one, one of the top 25 seeds in the tournament, it's even better. Is, um, did I hear you right that they kind of remind you if you're pressed to compare them to another team? I know that's dangerous, but is the all going to come up? That's probably as close a comparison, and that's that's more defensively. Uh, you know, they'll pick up the ball, they'll jump some passing lanes. They're very physical inside. Uh, you know, Hassan Martin is a you know, physical presence, probably a better shot blocker than Delgado, but you know, same strength and ability to finish around the rim. And then offensively, you know, you see Matthews is as good a wing as we'll face. He, he can score in a lot of different ways. He puts pressure on him to dribble and shoot the three. Uh, you know, they're not going to be a real fast-paced team. Uh, so us trying to dictate our tempo is going to be important in this game. What, How much what, do you, what, I was just you rely did. on Murph? I guess when, when you know a guy who's been there and knows this this staff and this yeah, roster. Yeah, you know, Preston is uh, obviously the fact that he worked for him. You, you know some of the absolutes that they have defensively. Uh, what they're looking for on certain offensive sets that are similar to when he was there. Now, you know, he was, he's been here two years and he was at Boston College a year in between, so it's been four years. So um, he was just there the first year with Danny. So, um, you know, he's going to be familiar with what he does and how he does it. And, you know, will it give us a little advantage? You know, maybe, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it's exciting for him. Rhode Island's his alma mater. The last time they played the NCAA tournament, he was their point guard. Uh, so it makes for a pretty cool story. In terms of ball handling, what lessons did you want your guys to take away from Villanova? I mean, it seemed like Xavier pressured you, but you handled that one. But maybe against Villanova, not as much. Was there anything that stood out when you reviewed that that might be applicable to this week? Well, I'd like to throw it to the guys with the same colored jerseys that we're wearing. Uh, <laughs> That's a good start. Instead of the other jersey. That's uh, it's a good place to start. Uh, but, you know, Villanova was disruptive. They got us, I think, four times coming uh, you know, running us down from behind uh, and, and making hustle plays, tipping the basketball. I think each time it ended up in their hands. So, uh, you know, we've got to eliminate some of those mistakes. We floated a few passes across court that, that you can't do against a team as active as Villanova, and we're not going to be able to do against Rhode Island. Uh, you know, our cuts and screens are going to have to be sharp. Our passes are going to be need to be short and crisp, uh, and we have to put a lot of pressure on the rim, uh, you know, off the dribble and rolling out of those ball screens. Uh, to try to get them to loosen up some of that pressure that they're trying to put on. Is there any way to prepare your guys, the guys who haven't played in an NCAA tournament game, the finality of the atmosphere there? What day? Is it different or is it different? You know, it, it's a little different, but, uh, you know, is it any different than Championship Saturday at the Big East Tournament in a sold-out Madison Square Garden? No. You know, that's 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 about as big time as it gets because the arena's not going to be full. And, they never usually are for the for the first round games, but um, you know everything that goes with it, from the police escort, the way you're treated, everything's first class, and that that's a part that's pretty cool for the guys to experience. The media sessions, the open practice uh, with fans there, the, you know those are things that are different than you experience at any other time. So that part of it's fun, but in terms of the energy and excitement leading up to the game, uh, you know the championship of the Big East tournament I think goes a long ways in helping you prepare for something like this. Frank, is, have you given uh, Rasmussen grief for uh, having Oregon so close to you in the bracket? <laughs> well, I promise you, if there was anybody that had any say in it, uh, he would have made sure that would not have happened rather than it would have happened. But, uh, you know, you get into the bracket and you end up with situations where you don't have any choice. Uh, and this was certainly probably one of them. You know, Arizona beats Oregon in the, in the final, uh, and that probably moved moved them a little bit or whatever. Uh, so, you know, they end up in, in our side of it. But, uh, you know, it's I think it's cool for our fans that are going to make the trip. Everybody here still supports Dana and, and appreciates what he did when he, while he was here. And they followed him uh, while he's been at Oregon. So, you know, they'll, however many fans we get there, seven or 800, uh, you know, they'll be they'll have that many extra Oregon fans that first game. But did, probably did, not the second game. Did Bruce say anything to you about it? Uh, we just, no, we just talked about it briefly. I mean, he, 
obviously he's good friends with Dana, and he and I are good friends, so uh, he would probably try to have that matchup not happen if at all possible. So on at the Big East tournament, yeah, Damian Mintz played really well on Thursday, and Tyler stepped up on Friday, and Ronnie Hay gave him some great minutes running the show on Saturday, which is great, but does it help you at all sort of sort out who will fit best for not only the Rhode Island matchup, but if you win the next match after that? So. Well, we're gonna we're gonna work on some of that this week in practice against some of that pressure and see who who handles it the best. Uh, the good news is I think they all come into this week with more confidence than they had last week uh, because they all did some really good things over the course of the, the, the week in, in New York City. So that's a positive, and uh, they should all have a little extra bounce in their step. And, uh, we're going to get some rest today rather than practice very much because it was a long week in, in New York City and we'll really zero in on, on Rhode Island tomorrow. Is that, is that the one reason why you could be thankful for a Friday start to get that extra day? That, that's kind of a blessing. Yeah, yeah. you know, if you, if, if, if you didn't make the championship game, it wouldn't make any difference. Right. But, you know, playing in that game Saturday, you know, we didn't get back till 3 in the morning. Uh, after the game and you know Rhode Island played yesterday so I'm sure they're really excited about the Friday game as well but uh, you know the most important thing is you show up Friday emotionally physically mentally fresh and uh, you know we have to balance that this week because uh, you know I'm still a little bit tired from everything that went on in New York and I didn't have to play in three games so I'm sure uh, I'm sure there's still a little fatigue and we'll try to uh, you know, get a lot of stretching and a lot of treatment today and hopefully they'll be ready to go tomorrow. And is there something to be said about a fresh start against a team that's not in your conference, you haven't played twice or three times or whatever, it's got to be a, a good feeling going into the clean sleep. Well, it's always a good thing for going into the NCAA tournament, so that part of it's always fun. Uh, obviously, there's there's not the familiarity we had with the Big East schools, but uh, you know we, we're not as familiar with Rhode Island either, so it's a two-way street, so you spend time uh, you know, studying their conference foes and the different ways in which those teams try to approach defending Rhode Island and, and different ways that they try to get into the cracks of that defense and then try to develop a plan that we think will give us the best chance to win. Two more. How do you find Preston? Like, I'm sure you've shared the story before, but like, where, where'd you, where were the, where's the connection there in terms of uh, the there, re there really wasn't one. Uh, I, I interviewed him the first time when we moved to the Big East when I hired Patrick Sellers. Uh, and he was maybe in his first or second year at Rhode Island at the time. Uh, hadn't had a ton of experience on the road recruiting, uh, but was impressed with him. Yeah. And just thought, you know what, maybe he's not quite ready, but I'm certainly going to keep my eye on him. Uh, and then when, when Pat left to go to, to DePaul, you know, he was one of the first guys uh, I reached out with and I was reached out to, and I was concerned because he had just gone to Boston College for a year. Uh, and it's, you know, it's tough to leave a job after one year, but. Uh, uh, when we met again, he was he was very interested in the position, and you know he's been terrific for us. And uh, as I told him last night, I, some of these guys I'm watching play on tape that are seniors, we need to have some of these guys <laughs> running around on our team here in a few years because uh, it's a pretty talented group they put together. I am. How long is it gonna last? Right, you want me to hold your mic? <laughs> okay. Did your phone blow up a little bit. It did. Yeah, it did. It did. Now, what was your reaction when you saw the matchup? You know, I was really shocked. I, you know, I didn't expect for us to play them, especially in the first round. So, you know, I was excited during the day for Rhode Island for making the NCAA tournament. And then it was just shocked after I saw the matchup. Did you think it was? So, a you know, it would be it would be hard for it not to be. You know, I've known and recruited some of those guys for three or four years, so there's a little emotion involved. But gotta gotta put that aside. Come game time. Yeah. yeah did you? Yeah, I bet you probably watched their game on Sunday, right? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I watched the game. I, I cheered for them. I actually, I think I tweeted and retweeted some things I was, I was really excited for. Right. So yeah. It, it, I think this is their first. I mean, you've been there, so what's the what's the feeling on that side of, you know, just being in the NCAA tournament for the first time since, what, 99? Since 99, yeah. so the last time they played in the tournament, I was playing. Right. And, uh, I, you know, it's been a long drought for them, and I know they were um, anticipating that, you know, they had done a really good job recruiting, and, and Coach Hurley's done a good job coaching that team up. So leading up to the years, anticipation of them making it back to the NCAA tournament. So that's uh, a lot of excitement on, on their events around the program. Yeah. Preston, take a trip down memory lane. You guys beat uh, Kansas when you were there your junior year. Uh, what do you remember about uh, that, that junior season that you were there where you guys were in the Elite Eight? Yeah, you know, I, I tell people all the time that that was, uh, that was Paul Pierce's last college game, so our team was responsible for sending him to the NBA. You know, that was his <laughs> last game, so that's, uh, that, you know, that's my line. But it was an exciting time, you know, NCAA tournament, anything happens. You know, um, we were a Cinderella team at that time, so a lot of people were rooting for the underdog, and um, 
Nobody came in and did a good job and had a, had a nice run. You guys were close to the Final Four, like painfully close. Pain, pain, painfully <laughs> close. You know, right. we were uh, about a million and 30 right. seconds away. We got a double-digit lead and kind of kind of folded there at the yeah. end. Did, did, did you ever go back and, like, recount that? Is that – is I don't know, is it too hard I, to look back Yeah, it's kind of hard. I've never actually went back and watched the game. I, I've seen, like, little clips and highlights or blurbs and things, but it's uh, – no, that's what that's what March Madness is all about. Right. Right. Well, that's considered the greatest era, isn't it, for, for Rhode Island? It is. That, that yeah. yeah. There. Those. So the, I think those three or four years uh, during our time there, you know, we went to Elite Eight my junior year, my senior year we won the Atlantic Ten Championship. Uh, you know, played with some great players like Lamar Odom, Catino Mobley, and uh, so it was it was a re very good area uh, in Rhode Island basketball. You've been there, and a lot of kids on this roster haven't. I guess what. What would be your message walking out of last night and into this week? You know, I think the big message is, you know, take every possession to heart because, uh, you know, they, they matter so much. Uh, there, there is no second chance. There is no do-overs. This if you get your one shot, you got to make the most of it. Thank you, sir. Back to work time. Is it back to work time? you got to put all that announcement and excitement behind you? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, we're excited. Uh, yesterday was a good day. Um, here, we're here and uh, just ready to get working and uh, head out to Sacramento. What do you know about Rhode Island? Uh, I know they're a good team. They're very consistent with the last few games. Uh, I know their uh, main, their main three guys were kind of hurt in the beginning of the season, but I'm sure they're back healthy and ready to uh, get out. You know, you watch. I don't know. You did, but we did. You watch all some of the. the post selection tournament shows and you got a lot of people picking against you guys you guys are yeah. the kind of the in vogue upset to be upset pick how does uh, that sit with you um uh you know you just people talking uh you kind of can't really feed into it uh just kind of go out there and compete try to get the win and uh on to oregon or iona or wherever you know after saturday you're probably on to the next but what kind of uh, taste did that leave in the mouth walking into this tournament? What, what kind of motivation, maybe? Uh, that uh, we just can't uh, hang our heads. Uh, we know we're going to the tournament. Uh, we couldn't just uh, really get all sad and like down about ourselves about that. Uh, we made it to the championship, uh, which was not you know good enough, but uh, kind of surprising to us as well. Um, but we just got to move on. We got to move on as a basketball player. What did you right. learn about your team? Uh, we're capable. We're very capable of a lot of things if we all just stick together, work together, and uh, play through adversity. And uh, the guys were uh, really stoked. And um, yeah, I mean, everybody was into it. Uh, we really loved it. And uh, we really wanted another chance. So it, it gives you some a boost of confidence. Not that you were lacking any, but it kind of proved that, hey, you can do this? Yeah, uh, you know, with Maurice being out with the injury and stuff, uh, we have to, you know, adjust a lot. Uh, with every player, uh, whether it's Ronnie, Tyler, the man, Davion you know, coming off the bench, uh, giving big minutes, doing their, their, doing their job. Everybody has to just be prepared. Uh, we gotta uh, take care of business. You've uh, obviously played hoop all your life. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the biggest stage. How excited are you to just to oh, play in the man. NCAA tournament? Uh, it's it's kind of, uh, it's kind of so surreal to me. I, I've always watched it on TV with a bunch of my friends watching all the top teams play, but uh, to actually be in it was like kind of really an honor. You know, like okay, now I'm a part of this. Uh, you know, big tournament stuff now I get to you know show what I can do or stuff like that. Sense of urgency for you guys? I guess how would you describe that mentality? Ah oh, man, um, we really wanna, you know, get this next win. We don't really wanna end our season on a loss. I mean, even though that's you know, it's either a win or a loss. So uh, we really just gotta uh, come in to practice, do what we have to do and uh, really uh, focus in. Thanks, what was that experience like? Oh, that was an experience I'll never forget, you know, even though we lost, but, you know, just the atmosphere, you know, the crowd, everything that came along with being in the NCAA tournament, it was just an amazing experience. What do you tell your fellows uh, about what the tournament atmosphere is mm -hmm. like? Can you tell them it's like another game? Uh, nah, you really can't, because it's really not, you know. Our, our lives are basically on the line, so I just tell them that, that you got to enjoy it. I think my first time around, I was so, like, hyped up and wanted to win so bad that I didn't really get to enjoy it like I really should have. So I'm just going to tell my teammates to enjoy the experience and just take everything in. Hey, a lot of the, the experts or whatever, when they pick their brackets, they kind of, they're not talking about Creighton. They're saying that Rhode Island's going to upset you. Uh, hear that talk and hear? Uh, yeah, we hear that talk, but we're not worried about it. We know what we're capable of. I mean, not many people know what we have to go through. We're losing the talent and all the distractions we got going on. 
So we're not really worried about it. We're just worried about going out and playing the best that we can. What did you learn about your club this weekend? A little boost of confidence. Obviously, you didn't win it, but it's probably a nice showing. You feel better about yourself today than maybe you did a oh, week yeah. ago. Oh, yeah. We learned a lot about ourselves. I think we really learned that we could be a real good defensive team. So uh, the tournament's going to be about defending and making shots for us. And, you know, we did both of those this weekend. And, you know, I feel we could really have an advantage if we do that the rest of the way. Uh, what about your shot uh, to, to the game one? I gotta add, we haven't talked about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is uh, that like? I mean, there's gotta, there's gotta be no better feeling in the world to do it in the, uh, on a stage like that. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I heard Kimball Walker hit a game winner that same day I did, so it's an amazing experience to go through, be able to hit that shot in Madison Square Garden. That's something you just dream about, so that's something I can relive the rest of my life. Mac is standing right there over your shoulder. What's he saying? No, what's oh. he saying to you <laughs> right before you shoot that ball? Uh, you know, I got kind of close to Coach Mac because I didn't know if he wanted to call a timeout or what we going to do, and he said, let's play. So he said, let's play. You know, I just went into my natural routine of shots. And the funny thing is, me and Kevin Jewell, we practice things like that all red shirt year. So it was just amazing to be able to do that, such a thing like that. I guess when you look back to the journey you've taken to now, the transfer, the decision, the uncertainty, some of that, is it rewarding, you know, to, to finally reach? Oh, yeah. You know, me and Justin got to, like, embrace it after the game. We had a big hug, and, you know, we were just smiling at each other because it was just, like, all the hard work we put in last year, sitting now, something we'd never done before. We got to, you know, have a good good moment, and, you know, something that shows, like, hard work pays off for us. You know, the tournament is kind of like a rebirth to some teams. You know, teams say, you know, people can talk what your record was before or after moment whatever. Is it nice, though, to start fresh and say, hey, the slate is clean, let's go play? Oh, yeah, it's very, it's very refreshing to have that, you know. Not many people know we had to reinvent our whole team with him going down. We didn't know this, but he did so much for us, and we missed him a lot. So, you know, I think with our reinventing our team and how we played, I think we're really figuring out how we need to play offensively and defensively. Some people, some people worry about the record post-mo, mm -hmm. but... Are you sitting here saying, well, we play in the Big East, man. Seven teams right. out of ten made it in. Right. You know, if you look at it, those seven teams that made it are the teams that we lost to while he was out. So, you know, it's no no big deal for us. We just got to keep on playing and staying focused. What do, you, what, what do you remember about your first NCAA experience, tournament experience? Your uh, freshman at K-State kick it, us back. It was, it, was pretty, it was pretty fun, you know, play, especially playing against Kentucky. You know, they won the national championship. And, you know, they had a great team, so I, it was pretty fun. I had a lot of fun that night. Were you able to, like, stay focused or do, like, because there's a lot of noise mm -hmm. and a lot of distractions and reason to be excited and also nervous? Like, how did you right. I think I that? think I was just overly hyped about it, you know. Coming out, I took a lot of quick, bad shots and wasn't really focused on defense, man. But it took me about a few minutes to really get locked in. But, you know, I think with me going in through it and guys like Z and Zach and Toby who's already been through there, it's going to help other people that's new to them to get through this. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Right? Yeah. Kind of shared a moment to you guys after um, Saturday night or Friday night maybe where you guys got to share a hug and talk about you sat out a year and now now this is here. So I guess how rewarding is it? Uh, it feels good. We put in a lot of work. And just not just us, our whole team, we uh, we did a lot of behind-the-scenes work. But, you know, with everything that happened and the circumstances we had to overcome, it, and it was just a great feeling just to have that, that win and going and we got a chance to play in the championship, so it was fun. For you walking off the Big East, a couple great nights to begin with, and you didn't have a bad championship game either, I guess. How do you feel about you walking away from that? Uh, personally, I feel good, and I, I felt good going into the tournament, but as a team, I feel like we got a lot of momentum, like, and that's what we really need to go into the NCAA tournament, so it was good for us as a whole, and I really don't look at it personally, I look at it as a, as a team, because that's... I can't get through it. We can't. I can't win a game by myself, and I need those guys to win. So I feel like we had a good. We had some good momentum going into the NCAA tournament. You uh, obviously have thought about playing in the NCAA tournament for a long time. Now that it's here, what is this feeling like for you to finally be on the biggest stage? Uh, it feels good. I, uh, right now, it's just I, we got a good draw. I feel like, and uh, we're, we're in Sacramento. I've never been to California, so. It'll be fun to experience that weather, even though it's almost similar to Omaha. Yeah, it is just a little bit. Do you, do you pay any attention to everybody picking against you? A lot uh, of experts not picking the Jays. No, I, I don't care. I'm just I'm gonna go out there when the ball goes up in the air. I'm gonna play hard, and like our whole team, will, we're gonna play hard, and hopefully the outcome is in our favor. Justin, did you get a sense that in New York? Sorry if you asked this to come up late, but that you guys may have figured some things out. Like how how important was New York? What you accomplished there? beneficial will be going into this week? Um, I feel like we got a lot of stuff accomplished. And in, and in like, it's tournament time, you're back against the wall. 
so you really have no choice but you either fail or you, you get you get through it. So yeah. we got through it, and we, I think we learned a lot about ourselves and what we can do. So and that, and that goes plays in the part about getting momentum. So we know what we can do. We know our strengths. And in postseason, it's a lot different. Everyone knows your strength and weaknesses, so you just got to go out there and play. And I think we're going to do a good job with that coming up. I think Max said that defensively, that was as good as you played against Nova yeah. in the last couple of years, really. That you, yeah. you brought it defensively. You just got it. But yeah. can you build off that performance? Yeah, we, we, we've been we've been locking in a lot defensively. We know that's been our weakness, especially against that team. They're a really good team. Yeah. And we didn't make a lot of mistakes. They were just a, the better team with being their number one seed and all. But... You know, we, we are really confident right now on the defensive end and with Marcus and myself and Taz, Kyrie Fence, it's going to be hard to get past it. So it's, it's going to be fun locking up teams and on, offense, on the offensive end, it's also going to be fun too. So. Have you met your season goal for dunks? Uh, I didn't I didn't really set a goal. I set, actually, I bet Marcus before the season started that I'll have more dunks than him. And he was really uh, strong in the decision that he would have more than me, but that's not the case. I mean, he, he owes, he, it's a little wager, but you know, he owes me a little bit. So. We'll, we'll get to that later. <laughs> you talking about cash wages? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you.